order for high speed way in motion sensors on either direction of the road towards Na that filters traffic towards Naifasha, towards Nakuru, and filters traffic towards Nairobi. We have removed the human element or interference in the weighing process. We've also installed CCTV cameras around the station okay. to watch over any activity going across the station. The compliance levels of the transit trucks are at 99%. The local trucks, their compliance levels are at, on average 96-97%. The levels of uh, overloading have been generally decreasing. That's why the compliance levels are going up month after month. Liftable axle is an axle that is fitted with a, a, an automatic drop-down mechanism such that it can lift itself up from the road service when the truck is empty and lift itself down when the truck is loaded. The biggest challenge we've been facing is for drivers to interfere with the drop-down mechanism and lift the axle when the truck is loaded, which transfers the load to the next axle, thus damaging our roads. In cases where we come across an, an overloaded truck, we detain and charge it until it pays the overload fees. After payment of the overload fees, it offloads the excess load before we release it back to the road. We've, we've been having a challenge in the past okay. of trucks avoiding the static wind bridges and using alternative or panya routes to evade the station. But we have a, a mobile motor vehicle that monitors the road network around the station. And generally, the level of compliance, they, there is an increase on the number of lorries and decrease in the number of lorries that are avoiding the, the static stations. Nairobi Nakuru Highway is a very busy highway. We do experience uh, high volumes of traffic, uh, but generally after installation of high speed in motion systems, a lot of traffic is filtered so there are no there are no traffic snarl-ups along the road and it would also be good if the road is also expanded.